Hi, my name is Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the driver's side trunk door switch that is used to open the trunk of your car. This is on a W222 um, Mercedes-Benz 2018 uh, S560. Um, the same will probably apply for the W222 Mercedes-Benz S550. Um, same concept, but I just want you to follow me. So, uh, this is just something off the uh, the beaten path, but um, the last video that I made was on the uh, ear pump for the multi-contour seat and I mentioned something about uh, run flat and I had a subscriber that talked about he spent an arm and a leg for his run flat tie that basically cracked his rim and the, the price that he paid was just a, a, a exorbitant amount. I just want to let you know that there's other places than the dealership to fix stuff on your car. You don't have to every time something breaks or don't work bring it back to the dealership and let them charge you a normal leg. That's the reason why this channel was created but I replied back to him and I said well on my 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550 I had three crack rims and I brought it to a rim specialist that uh, repaired the crack on the rim and one of the rim the front left had three cracks in it. Uh, now just Bear in mind that this is a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz that I got from Massachusetts, but anyway, that um, rim specialist says, one more crack to this rim, um, you have to throw the rim away. And that's, that day I decided to convert all my tires from run flat to regular tires. And you can actually drive with, in the front I'm talking about, uh, run flat on one side and regular tire on the right and the car won't pull. But it's advisable to do two at a time. Um, I can get away with it because I know what I'm doing, but for those of you who do want to convert your tires to uh, regular tires, make sure you get a spear. Now, my spear is not a donut, it's an actual full uh, rim um, that that same tire specialist ordered for me and it's in the back of my trunk. But uh, rather than get off sidetrack, let's talk about today's um, feature, which is the trunk door switch. I'm going to go ahead and switch my view and we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so we'll go in and just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. And you don't, you don't have to. But this is the, the door switch I was talking about. This is the trunk. You can pull it back towards you to open the trunk. You can push it forward to close the trunk. I'm going to go ahead and pull it backwards towards me like that. It's not working so this this switch is defective it's bad and um, let's go ahead and turn off the car and I'm gonna take out my key fob and go closer I'm gonna press this button and let's look at the trunk now it opens so we can tell that that switch is no good and how do we know it's not the fuse? Let's go back. Let me go ahead and close it. And this is pure logic. All right. Let's open it back up. You can tell it's not the fuse because the trunk is actually working. This is electric. Let's look at our fuel chart. Now, bear in mind that every fuel chart that you get that comes with the car is specific to that car. And as you know, in the previous video that I've done, we have four locations for the fuse. We have one in the engine compartment, we have one in the uh, passenger side, we have one for the driver's side, and we have another one in the in the trunk, which is right here. And the one in the trunks, this is the range, is 400 to 497, which is right here. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this, you're going to pull this off. And how do we know this is the right fuse chart? Well, let's look at it. we got four blocks, one, two, three, four. We got four um one two three four so we got uh one right here which is here and then you have um these three one two three one two three one two three one two three now to make it um easier for you the uh trunk um control module which is this one's 40 amp we're going to take this and we can actually pull it out. And this is how big it is. So 
And so now let's see if we can close this. It's not working. Let's go ahead and close the trunk. Now how do we get our trunk to open? Let me show you. Got the key fob. Remember we did a video on the emergency key which is the silver part which is right there so I'm actually pressing the little button right here and if you can't use your finger now use something sharp to push down on it so you can actually pull this out like I'm doing now all right so this comes apart put this in your pocket this same key now mind you this same key is the one that opens up the driver door in case of an emergency a dead barrier whatever but it also opens up the trunk and if you notice here you're gonna see a little hole you can actually put that in like that and turn it and now this opens All right let's go ahead take that key out let's go ahead and put the fuse back take it push it slide it back in let's come here let's close that all right so that tells us that the fuse is good the trunk works it's the switch that's bad so let's go ahead and get started on the switch and we'll look at the switch part number which is a222 now, how do I know this is the right part for that? Because when you go on the internet, there's many different um, switches. How do you know if you're going to get the right one? Well, easy. Go to the dealership. Tell them, tell them what you need. And if you have a, a, a relationship with them, that means you get your car service. You just got to give them your telephone number. They'll look up your VIN, and they're going to give you the right part. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing when you have relationship with with the dealers that you bring your car to now one thing I do have to say about this car you you have to know and I can't stress this enough you have to know when and who to bring your car to to get service you don't just want to bring your car every time something breaks and that's why people stay away from this car because oh yeah it's expensive no if you if you know how to take care of it uh, that's one of the reasons why this channel was created so you can maintain your car without going broke so we can go ahead and take the switch out. Let me go ahead and open this open this up. All right, this is our switch and it is power because, you know, voltage uh, do go to it. And um, we're going to go ahead and and take that out. And this is what the switch actually looks like. This is from the dealership. Take this. This this goes. And when you push it forward like that, your trunk closes. When you pull it back like that, your trunk opens. So it's a multi multi-function switch. Alright, so starting with the cover strip, we're gonna pry it open. We're gonna use our little plastic audio tool and just And you want to be careful not to damage the leather. You want to make it look professional. All right, one thing that I want you to notice is the, inside the plastic you have the metal hooks that the, uh, plastic is going to actually insert into so you just want to make sure if, if you do pull this out you're going to see one that's actually um, connected to it but that's okay as long as it goes back and this is plastic you want to be um, careful actually this is leather so you want to be careful uh, with it we'll put this back so overall you just want to make sure the plastic I mean the metal hooks I don't know if you would call this hook, but connector, or or in the door. So when you snap the cover piece back on, um, 
everything fits in nothing is bulging out or anything like that so all right so let's go ahead let me rotate the camera I don't know if you can see the screw let me zoom out a little bit there's actually like a hex, hex screw where that circle is and um, there's supposed to be another one but let me go ahead and do something first all right so the second piece the second screw I was talking about there's one here in this hole there's another one here but you have to remove this and the way you remove this is take this again come in here and just pry this open and this actually comes out take your other hand take this out don't disconnect any wires so there's actually when I went to buy the switch um, at the Mercedes dealership he wanted to know if it was if it was this one the master I'm like no it's not and you see that that hex screw which is why I have my finger let me see if I can zoom in there's one there and there's one in this hole we can go ahead and loosen up both of them all right so it's good to have your own ratchet set so what we're looking for is a hex and we're looking at uh, number 45 We'll go ahead, we'll loosen out the first, first bolt. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little magnet here, see if I can just go in and get that screw, and then come out. Alright. And there we have it. All right, so you definitely would need one of these these magnets. Definitely helpful in time like this, because the last thing you want is for the screw to drop into this part, and right now you're screwed. No pun intended. All right, let's continue. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take out the light. Just have it uh, sitting there. Don't disconnect the wires. Um, don't disconnect the wires for this. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this. We're gonna do it by use our hand. We're gonna gently. Uh, pull this towards um, your direction All right, so basically the top pull this out With your hand uh, here. You're gonna give it one nice pull and be very careful not to um, Not to break it and of course we have the the clips If, if you can see those little plastic clips want to be very careful with them going throughout pull this side off like this this whole thing comes out and now I have I can see the back of it as well they go all the electrical connection and look you can actually see and they go the cable I was talking about which is right there and that's for the door door handle and what we're gonna do for this we're gonna lift it up and push back all right so if you want to see the complete backing of this this is what the back of the door panel look like the motor for the, the window as well as everything they got a clip that's all the way in the back we want to be very careful we want to slide the uh, liner backwards and then up all right, so the electrical connection, we're gonna disconnect, which is uh, right there. There's a, a blue on the left and a blue on the right, and they're both different sides, so you, you can't mix them up when you reconnect them. We'll go ahead and disconnect that. All right, so we disconnected the line, the electrical wires, and um, now this thing is free to move around. And we have this white covering to actually cover the, uh, the switch. Let's see if I can just come here instead of Disconnecting that for no reason. Come here. See if I can just move this. And there go my my trunk switch here. All right. We'll pop out those two. Take this like that. Just gonna hit. Notice the orientation. That's the bad switch. This is the good switch. We'll take the same orientation. And we're gonna come here. And we're gonna pop it in same exact way. Make sure that's facing me. Move this out of the way. 
that snaps in, that snaps in, take this, reconnect it, take this insulator and just come here with it and just put it back. This will reconnect the wires, no need to disconnect this. Let's go ahead and put it, start putting everything back. Take the speaker. We'll connect the electrical lines first. All right, so the blue cables are connected and like I said, you, you can't mix them up. One's bigger than the other. Go into the slot. We put back the speaker into the three holes. We never disconnected this, we didn't have to. Um, and then we have the yellow clips that are lining throughout the throughout the um, the liner. So we're gonna put um, screws back, the two screws that we took out. We're gonna go ahead and we'll put the one at the top first, this one here. Put that in there, we'll turn it. We're gonna take our from my ratchet set. set. Turn it, turn it by hand first. Take this. We'll tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, and this is done. You don't want to over tighten it. That's good to go. Come in here. Go ahead and take this out. We're going to put our master switch back. Everything goes into the slot. We'll hook up the connector first. Take this. This goes here. And we want to hear the clip. Okay. Turn this around. This will be like that. Want to make sure that everything works. We'll go ahead and turn the car on. Make sure that our window works. I'm a very big advocate of doctors and medicine. Okay, check that one. That works. All right, so everything here works. We'll go ahead and turn the car off. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll take this. This little latch will go in there first. Like that, and that'll snap into place. The next screw is gonna be this one here. And that one you wanna be careful. We're going to take our magnet here and we're going to take it, we're going to actually turn it. We'll go there, we'll see the hole. We'll take the, the extension by hand. We'll actually go in and we'll turn the rest. Catch it, turn it, the rest by hand. So you can't turn anymore. We'll tighten the rest with the ratchet. Take the little ratchet, and this is all part of my ratchet set, so it's always good to have um, any kind of ratchet set. Take this, and we'll turn until everything is tight. And like I said, you don't want to um, over tighten it. Alright, so this is good. Okay, take this out. Remember the last piece we're going to put back. I remember all the metal clips that were here and even if you pull this this whole piece out just make sure you put back the metal clips that supposed to um, supposed to be there we'll take this right here remember this will go in insert it snap it into place Snap that into place. Right, and like I said, you always want to make things look pretty. The last is the puddle light. We're going to insert that. 
and of course you probably want to make sure that it works when you put it back and snap the electrical connector into place as well okay all right so we're actually done so we take everything back let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car actually not gonna start the car I'm just gonna put in the accessory mode accessory mode come down here I'm gonna actually pull the lever back watch the hood okay and that's because I have my hand on that now I'm gonna push it down towards the floor that way and we're gonna watch and see what happens All right, so we're basically done. And um, hopefully you learned a lot. And um, you know, like I, I always tell people, I, I get a tremendous amount of satisfaction uh, working on my car. And it's probably the reason why this channel was created because this is my me time. You know, some people call it therapy. Some people just like working with their hands. For other people, they like hunting, other people they like uh, fishing, other people they like shopping. Um, that's their therapy, but this is my me time, away from everything um, and everybody. I have, I get tremendous satisfaction when I work on my car and I put this car on the road knowing that I can uh, do some stuff with it. So hopefully um, you enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon.